Hello everyone, so this will be a tutorial on how to mod LEGO Ninjago and other DirectX 11 LEGO games. Let's get right into it. So the first thing that you'll have to do is download a few things. Those being TD Games Quick BMS Scripts Main, TD Tools, and Ninjago Practice Saves. You'll find all of those in the description. So after you install all of those, you will need to unpack your game files. I recommend watching Sedum Nastex tutorial which explains how to do that, which will also be linked in the description. So after you have unpacked all of the game files and modified the exes, you are now ready to mod the game. I also recommend deleting the movie cutscenes like the tutorial shows, but it's not necessary. So now that we're in the folder of the game, if we want to modify characters, then we need to go into the characters folder, right here. Now we find the character we want in either Creatures or Minifigs. So as an example, I will use Real Cat, which is right here in the Creatures folder. So you copy the name of Real Cat, go into Collection TXT, go to the bottom and type in Collect and the name of the character. If you want to modify the stats of a character, abilities, items, etc., then you will need to find your character in either minifigs or creatures. So this time I'll choose minifigs and I'll choose Lloyd. You will need to find a file called Lloyd Shared. And if you want to add flying, for example, then you do ability flying. But if you want something else, you can copy it off of another character and paste it in here. You can also change the items of a character by also copying something off of another character. So for example, Lloyd here has default item Grapple Ninja. You could copy something like Jay's phone if you want him to have that. Some characters like Ed here will not have a shared text file. So if that's the case, then just use the normal text file. If you want to add a vehicle into the game, then you will need to go into the vehicles folder, find the name of the vehicle you want, and copy the entire name. So now that you have chosen your vehicle, you have to go into the levels folder and choose a level. I will choose story area 1B. Now find its txt file, which will be right here. It will have the same name as the level. Then you want to type in a character and the name of the vehicle and player at the end. Do the same here, but type in vehicle instead of character at the start. Then you have to save, close it, and that's it. So now to add the cut levels into the game, you will have to go into the levels folder, then go into levels txt and find story area 10 underscore status. Here, where it says status continue to level and exit to level, you type in the name of the cut level. Not all levels will work this way though. The levels that will work are story area 2 underscore B, story area 1 underscore C, and TTG test area. To get to these levels that you have just added, you will need to complete chapter 14. That's where flying and removed cutscenes come in. If you have removed cutscenes and added flying to at least one character, then playing for chapter 14 will be much faster. To add a chapter 14 save file into the game, or a save file of any chapter that you want, you will need to go into the Ninjago practice saves. Then go into a chapter that you want and copy what is in here. Now you will need to go into Steam, user data, this number, this number, remote, and saved games. Now you paste this in here, Replace, and you have a chapter 14 save file on slot 4. So now, if you want to add a cut level that doesn't work with the method I showcased, then you will need to find its files and copy all of them. So now you will need to find a working level, like story area 1b, and delete everything here, or move it to another folder, and paste what you copied, and rename everything from father and son to sorry area 1b. If this video helped you, then leave a like. If it didn't, then don't. And I'll see you in the next one.